and I'm at the Sunwatch Native American Village here in Dayton, Ohio. And I've ran into all kind of characters here. You see that guy right there? Be very, very quiet. That is Brandon from Off the Beaten Path. How you doing, buddy? How's it going, everybody? Pretty good, man, pretty good. Best thing about this place, no road trip rich. No road trip rich. Yes. We had to boot them, leave them on the highway. Yeah, no regrets. Uh, How's it going, buddy? Good. How about you? Pretty good. Pretty good. What you doing here? You left me on the high highway. <laughs> I had to walk here. Yeah, man. He's a better tracker than I gave him credit for. Sun Watch is a recreation of a Fort Ancient Culture Village that stood here in the 12th and 13th century A.D. In the 1960s, when the city of Dayton was looking to expand on its water treatment plant, this village was found. village is located near the Great Miami River, which had to be a very important source of both food and transportation. Through the work of the archaeologists, they were able to determine what the village may have looked like and what it could have been made of, and try to recreate it as best as they could. One thing the Fort ancient Indians were really well known for was fire codes. They, uh, you know, this is a grass house. House, you can't be that careful. You got to have a working fire extinguisher to prevent any fires. Remember, only you can prevent hut fires. to live in these houses sounds like it was really cramped as up to 10 people would live in one of these small places to conserve heat and space yeah imagine being inside of here with 10 of your closest friends or uh, maybe even worst enemies hope they didn't serve beans now they estimated about 1210 AD is when they were living here and they kind of moved without a trace. Kind of assume what happened was that the land was tilled out, the nutrients were gone, so they took their farming elsewhere. Center of the village, that's the cedar pole, they said stood 40 foot tall, cast its shadow into the huts and they would know when it was harvest time. That's their farmer's almanac right there. This structure here is aligned so the shadow the center pole of winter solstice, and this was a time of great celebration. So I guess you could say this is the party house. Let's see what's inside the party house. Yeah, of course. Road trip, Rich. Rich, is this party house? That's what I heard.
Looks like Road Trip Rich is ready for another interview. Rich, what have you learned on your little visit here to Sunwatch Village? Learned a lot. I mean, first of all, you look at the way these huts are constructed. I would have thought they'd be tied. Some of these aren't tied. You go over here, there's no tying in here. No tying here? There's, yeah. Yeah, there's nothing. How this is kept in place. Now there is a bolt here. Ah, so that's Lowe's or Menards. <laughs> Who knows? But it, I wonder, okay, up there, that is mostly twine. That's twine. But the other building we were in earlier, I didn't see any twine holding the, the joints together. I was kind of curious about that. Yeah, I'm sure it probably had to be twine. They just, or maybe some uh, sort of ancient wooden nails, I guess. What do you think of the old Fort Ancient uh, Sunwatch Village here? It's well worth the time. Learned a lot about ancient Fort Ancient culture here in the Ohio Valley. What do you guys think of me wearing my sun shirt for the Sunwatch Village here? I don't know. Snazzy. I... Where's the hat? <laughs> it's pretty snazzy. Where's the hat? Though? Where's the hat? What do you mean? I got a hat on. No, the other hat. Where's your I... hat? You're going to burn your head today. I see that shirt. I want to be on a beach. <laughs> yeah. Well, this is close to the beach. We got the great miami river just all over the ways there that's going to do it from the sun watch village in dayton ohio and who knows where the toll road will lead to next